Let's talk about why babies thrive on keto. Now, when a woman is pregnant, especially during the last trimester, 30% of all the energy fed to that baby is from ketones. And then once they're born, the first two hours, they're gonna be running off of lactate, that's milk sugar, but then they're gonna convert right to ketones. So ketones are very normal for a newborn. Ketones are not supposed to be an alternative fuel. In fact, breast milk is loaded with MCT fats, medium chain triglycerides, which are then turned into ketones. A baby's brain makes up between 11 and 12% of their entire body weight as compared to an adult brain, which only makes up 2% of the weight. Yet in a newborn, 75% of all the energy that they use is for the brain. If we compare this to an adult, we use 20 to 25% of our energy for our brain. So as you can see, this brain is very, very important for survival. It's very important to allocate the majority of fuel because it is gonna be the organ that runs the entire body. But here's the fascinating thing. Ketones not only provide a good amount of fuel for the infant's brain, they also provide the building blocks for lipids of an infant's brain. I'm talking about the cholesterol and the myelin sheath that surround the nerves in the brain. Ketones supply the brain with 90% of the carbon to make the white matter. So it's not just about the fuel, it's about the building blocks as well. And this is also another reason why babies are born with extra fat, because that fat actually can help supply more ketones, unless someone screws it up by feeding them the formulas, which is basically the high carb diet, because all that sugar and glucose and carbohydrate will completely prevent the ketones from being used as fuel. So if you're gonna get pregnant or you are pregnant, try to breastfeed as long as possible. And in the process, make sure you're eating foods with all the key nutrients. I'm talking about the trace minerals. I'm talking about the B vitamins and vitamin C from actual nutrient-dense foods. That way that child has the best chance of optimizing their IQ, their bone formation, their reduction of risk for certain diseases, and overall longevity. My last point is this. If we started out on ketones, why would we wanna go to a high-carb diet? And why would someone be hesitant of going on a ketogenic diet after being on high carb diets for many years. It doesn't make sense to me. Other than the fact that they just might not understand this basic data right here. But for more information on how to grow a very healthy baby, check out this video on the screen.